Hi, I'm Michaela, General Manager of DSTV, and we are back with another reaction video. This time we're going to have the members of DSTV watch some horror movie trailers that have been remade. Remade movies have been a huge part of pop culture and cinema, and so we're going to determine which ones would actually be scary and what you should watch this Halloween. Spooky lights. You really are just a head, Dom, and a logo. I know. Whole lot of Nike. It's like, we got to go double forward hat, double front cap, oh. get this code fired. Hi, my name is Bailey Martin. I'm a multi-platform journalism major here at DSTV. And I'm Brent Terrigalmine, and I'm a junior major in sports information and media. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Joe. That's all you need to know. The boo wasn't scary. You know what would really be scary? You What's know that? what college students think is scary? student loans. We're going to start with The Exorcist and when it came out people thought it was like one of the most terrifying movies of all time. I still hear people saying that it's like one of the scariest movies they've ever watched. Have you have you seen The Exorcist? I'm not a scary movie guy to Neither be honest. I, very very limited experience with scary movies but I, I think I might have seen the newer one. I don't know we'll see when we see the trailer. I'll, right. I'll tell you if I've seen let's, it or not. Let's fire yeah. this one up. Quality is bad off the get-go. Oh I don't like the way they put that. I think there should be a seizure warning for this. Whoa, that's spooky right there. Now that's scary, just yeah, even I'm not for a fan today. Of faces. <laughs> <laughs> is this the rest of the trailer? Is just faces in black and white? I'm not sure. It's been going on for a while. That audio is intense. What if this trailer just like never ended? Like it was just like continuously like going and going and going and going and then it was just like a five hour long trailer. This is it, this is the rest of the trailer, it's just black and white faces. It doesn't give up much about like what's actually happening. I, I like that though, because all movies nowadays, see like I, I watch a trailer, I feel like I know the entire movie. This I'm actually interested in, what, what's going on? I wanna see more. See this doesn't interest me though, because I don't know what, <laughs> what am I gonna go and see? Basically this guy this shows it? up to an evil girl and does an exorcism. Good trailer. It's cool. It's iconic, definitely. It's definitely, I can say that about that trailer. It's iconic, which I like a lot. It's unique. I can't think of any other trailers that did that kind of thing back in the 70s. So, that's a... That's an A-plus for me. Something interesting about this one, I feel like most modern trailers, like right off the jump, they try to hook you in, they do something crazy. This one, there wasn't much uh, dialogue for like that first yeah, 20 seconds. Yeah, very little. I mean, not dial pretty much no dialogue the entire trailer. It was trailer. like one line of dialogue, yeah, and then just faces. Next! I'm just interested to see what this, this 2021 remake is like, if they try to like amp it up a little more in the beginning. I don't know. I don't know why I'm laughing. The ASMR noises make me laugh. I feel like I'm gonna get a jump scare here. I don't like this guy's voice. I didn't even know they made a remake to The Exorcist. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I actually year. have seen this. I mean, that just wasn't scary at all. They tried to make it scary. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> did nothing for me. A little scary there. Girl's face. <laughs> Abrupt. That's really funny. They did the exact same facial prosthetic for um, the, the possessed kid. The title card looks like it's straight out of the 80s. It looks like it's from the first one. Yeah. yeah. 
that was that um, was wacky. I, I preferred the original one much more. I'm, I'm not surprised I never heard about this because that looks kind of garbage. It looks pretty bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not um, a fan of that. If I'm if I'm gonna watch a movie like a scary movie, I, I'm personally I don't like demons. I'm not a demon guy. <laughs> Because demons are a little too, like, I don't know. A little too real. Yeah, demons are a little too real. You know, there's, like, stories of exorcisms and stuff. Yeah. Like, kind of want more, like, a monster, like a like a mythical monster that I feel like is not real. What but, about? What so about? That, so that that I wouldn't probably go near, but seeing from that trailer, it wasn't didn't look that scary, to no. be honest. If I'm going to get scared, I feel like I'd watch the 1973 one over the 2021. I probably would, too. I got off track. I guess that just tells you how much this trailer impacted me which is to say that it did not at all other than to say wow nostalgia so that gets a solid C minus from me Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Carrie scream Poltergeist. let's do scream let's do scream okay. isn't scream like a comedy I thought so too isn't like one of the Wayans brothers in this? That's, <laughs> that's a scary movie. Ah. But. <laughs> Same thing. Isn't this one where he's like on the phone? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen it. See, I this. thought it was like. There, this shot here. He's taking his love of fear. Hello? Hello, Sydney. One step too far. You might scare him. Who just picks up the phone and starts a conversation with a random person? Yeah. I mean, what what year is this? 1990? Yeah, it's still weird. You can tell that the internet was just becoming a thing. Oh, 100%. They're like making that seem like a big deal. They're just typing on like a document. <laughs> typing into this a word. This is scary. Document. This is high tech. What's the point? They're all the same. Some stupid killer talking from big bright secret. Oh. <laughs> Forgot about that line. See, it seems like well, what's this going on right now? That's Scooby. That's a uh, yeah, Shaggy. That's Shaggy, dude. That's I forget his name. I mean, I, I'm shot. Harvey Weinstein credited there. That's rough. Not a good look. Well, first of all, I love Matthew Lillard. I think you think of like, you know, Freddie, Jason, whatever that Nightmare on Elm Street, Scream. I think it's up there with like the big names, and that looked yeah. horrible. I, if I saw a trailer for this back in '96, I would never watch this. I don't know how it turns out, but it seems like the one guy had it down pretty well. Like he had the rules. Why didn't yeah. they just follow him? Like Don't I said, I've never seen it, but like if they, if they die, like they obviously just didn't listen to that guy. He had it down. Like don't leave, don't have sex, don't. Which you should never do, by the way. Yeah, this but, is a Catholic school. <laughs> um, we do cannibal. At this Catholic school, we should never do. As someone who's seen the movie, this trailer, like, it almost made it too much. Like, if they were to, like, dumb it down a little bit or make it a little quieter, I think that would have been spookier. Like, one of the captions that popped up, it was, like, come, like, from Wes Craven comes the last word in fear. And you're like, what? And it's like, scream. Oh, because they scream before they die. You know what's funny about this whole thing? I don't like scary movies. I know I seem very tough, and I have this like vibrato about me. V vibrato, bravado. All right, and All then right. I guess there's another one in 20. I guess it's coming out next year. Interesting. Whoa. Mm. Why, Why would, would you, you go yeah, straight what? to the door? She got lit up. Door oh, what? Uh, <laughs> just gonna keep going back and forth. Technology cannot help you. Oh, oh he's in. That was a good one. This dude isn't playing around this time. Kind of a drippy fit though with the robe. Yeah, he's kind of yeah. dripping on him. Oh. It's Sydney. It's Sydney from the original one. Oh, that's good. You have a gun? I'm Sydney Prescott. Of course I have a gun. Oh, Sydney Prescott. Of course she has a gun. Oh. Hello, Sydney. It's an honor. I mean, that looks horrible. That looks pretty bad. 
What, what's up with horror films nowadays? They just are, are not good. They're bad. They're really bad. They're bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, it looks good, and the fact that they have like people from the original cast in there. Again, I didn't finish Scream because I don't like scary movies. So like, and what's scariest about things like movies like Scream is that they're realistic in the sense that like there are serial killers out there. Watch, and it looks like it's gonna be the same thing over and over and over yeah. again until maybe they get him at the end, but probably not because apparently this is the fifth Scream movie. Maybe. There's five? Gary, 1976, shut your mouth. See, she acts really scary there. That was scary. <laughs> it's, the, it's the violins, man. See, I feel like the quality of like, like the older quality kind of makes it scarier and watching it now because I don't know, it's just creepy. Yeah, I'm interested to see because you always hear stories about uh, parents are always like, be careful during prom and stuff like that. <laughs> that might have been where that comes from. I remember when uh, I went to prom, my parents were always like, be careful and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, like, what's the big deal? Someone's going to, like, stab you? Yeah, like, stuff like that. So The Exorcist, considered one of the scariest horror movies of all time. And if I recall correctly, there were people that were fainting in the theater from how terrifying they found it. A movie like that came out three years before Carrie did. That's hilarious and also unacceptable. I'm trying to be positive, I'm sorry. That's, that was really rude of me to say, but I don't, I don't find it, I don't find it particularly scary. And I don't see how anybody could find that scary. All right, so now we're moving to Carrie. No, no, no! Paul Carey. No, I don't think I will. Honest to God, I like that trailer better than I like the original. Uh, I thought the first one was scarier. I, I also thought that. Yeah, I kind of thought that too. Though I like how modern, I guess, all the new ones we've seen so far, the newer version, they're more modern. Like, I just felt so bad for Carey just being made fun of um, in the, what you might call, in the locker room. Like the, like the other girls yeah. are like teasing her. Like you could feel that. And I feel like I could just like, feel more of for her in this version than the other. I don't I, know why. I feel like in like out of the two movies that we watched, since like Poltergeist has to do with like like the TV and like technology, like the newer one's scarier because it's like more real. Yeah. But whereas like Carrie, like I don't know, the first one was scarier to me because it just like the vibe of it was creepier. Like yeah, the older you. vibe. I don't blame you for thinking that. I don't know. I don't get scared. I, I don't get scared very easily. So, okay, for the next one, I'm going to watch Poltergeist, which originally came out in 1982. Here. What? Oh, the TV's bad. It's huge. I don't. Ooh. That's us. We're TV people. I kind of jumped a little bit, not gonna lie. That's us. We're TV people. Ooh, car crash. Serious business. See, they're flying. <laughs> I just think that like, I don't know, because I feel like m movies obviously like are much more realistic now. Like not in like, like I mean like in like a graphics kind of way. Right. So like watching that is just like, doesn't really do much. I wasn't scared either, but I was entertained. Not entertained though, but I was, I'm interested to see like what what is gonna go on. Oh, <laughs> that 
this is like happy music at the end. Okay, so Poltergeist is one of those movies my mom would watch on sci-fi and I'd be like, mm, okay, I'll watch with mom. I feel like that would be one I could actually watch and not be scared of because like the, <laughs> they're like effects and um, like these kids are like flying off the bed like Willy Wonka when they float, like that's. <laughs> But we can watch the the new one. Yeah. This one actually might scare me. I'm kind of I've never seen this trailer before. This one's from 2015. Taken. Snow. The picture up. She got snatched. That's scarier. Again in the suburbs. I don't like when it gets quiet. Is that the end? Is that the end? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that. <laughs> that got me. I'm scared. What? Who an Irish guy? Lie. Built on a cemetery. Stop. I can't. No. Off. See that one, I like that one. I was actually scared. I want you all to clear your minds. Oh, it's gonna be another one. Oh, not the clown! That first one might have actually been a little scary just based on, I feel like the music to me is just scarier, but like. Really? The music for the 1982 one, yeah. But I feel like this 2015 one, there's just like more going on. I feel and like it was more modern. A, yeah, you get like a better sense of what's like, I don't know, the first one, like it's creepy, but I guess like, like I hate how in the new one, like whenever it gets quiet, like you know something bad is uh, gonna happen. Yeah, sure. But like in the first one, like, first one. It just kind of, it just kind of goes. I don't know, I was kind of scared. I don't find any of these movies particularly scary. You want something to scare you, you should watch Lake Mungo. Lake Mungo, Pontypool, Dr. Sleep, and The Night House, I think are great movies to watch if you want to get scared um, this year. Movies that you would want to watch if you want to experience some cheese <laughs> Watch Carrie 1976. Final thoughts. So I'd give Exorcist original trailer, I'd give that an A+. Plus. Um, the Exorcist new trailer, I'd give that, I don't know, C-. Um, Carrie 1976, that's, that's, yeah, that's a solid F-, minus, I'd say. Uh, Carrie new trailer, I don't know, B+. Plus. Overall, well, my take is that horror films are not that good. And they're a waste of time. I'd, I'd have to agree. With There's you. very few horror films I've seen have been like, whoa, that was really good. The original Saw movie, that's an excellent film. You should watch that. I like that. movies that like tie back to the past. Like That's one th reason I like the modern It. I couldn't tell with, if that was the case with Spanish yeah. It. But in modern <laughs> It, like it was like, oh, in 1960 Spanish. there was this girl or whatever. But Spanish It didn't seem to have that much tying back to it. So Spanish I can't It say. is whack. As far as how movies have progressed from the originals to the remakes, I think special effects and different tactics have definitely been beneficial and made them a little scarier. Um, I think it's cool to play tribute to like the originals by adding similar scenes and cameos from characters. This video is dumb.
particular. That was fun.